Hello and welcome. My name is Rhoda. I'm so glad you could join me today for this is the day that the Lord has made. We will be glad and we will rejoice in it. So today I want to share uh, something that has been on my heart. It's been sitting there for a while now and I feel that the Lord wanted me to share this with someone else so that they could be encouraged also. You know, this walk of faith sometimes can be lonely, discouraging. But today I wanted to share with you what the Lord has placed on my heart and that it, that is found in Isaiah chapter 3 uh, verse 10. And I will share both from the NIV and New King James Version. So the NIV says, um, Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10, it says, Tell the righteous, it will be well with them, for they will enjoy the fruit of their deeds. New King James says, Say to the righteous, it shall be well with them, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. So, before you disqualify me or yourself on righteousness, I want to show you something. Second Corinthians 5, 21 tells us that we who have been united with Jesus Christ, who believe in Jesus Christ, we are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus, solely on the basis that we believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God and we have been united with him, then we are the righteousness of God through Christ. So that is where we are basing our righteousness, purely on Christ, not on us, it's not on our merit, what we have done or failed to do, but purely of what Jesus Christ has done for us. And so... Now that I've set the record straight, I want to speak to you, the righteous, the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. I want to tell you today that the Lord wants you to know it will be well with you. It is well with you. It doesn't matter what is going on. It doesn't matter how it looks like. It doesn't matter how envirom your environment is looking like, how your family is looking like, how your children are looking like, what is falling apart. The Lord wants you to know it will be well with you this verse is in the mid in the midst of a chapter that the uh, the prophet isaiah is giving a prophecy on the judgment that is coming against judah and jerusalem so it's not that it was a rosy period it was a very hard period for the israelites for the children of israel and during that period I, the prophet isaiah is prophesying on what will become of this nation of Israel that had, had turned away from the Lord and they had started worshipping other gods. You know, they had walked away from the Lord God Almighty, the one and true living God. And so from verse 1, when I was looking at it and seeing what the Lord had said he will do, I was really amazed and, 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 and was like, wow, God, this is all you wanted to do. But in the midst of that judgment, you remembered the righteous. Thank you, Jesus. In verse 1, it says that, See now the Lord, the Lord Almighty is about to take from Jerusalem and Judah, <laughs> both supply and support. So no coming in, no sustenance. There will be no supply. There will be no support of food and water. So basically, they will, they will not survive because there was nothing. There was no food. There was no water. The supply is being cut and, and the support is also being cut. You know, um, he says that he will, there will be no hero, there will be no warrior, no judge, no prophet, you know. The, the, the in verse 4, it says that I will make mere youths to be officials and children to be leaders of, over you. Imagine leaders leading over elders. The elders were the ones who were leading Israel. But now the Lord is saying, when this judgment comes, the children will rule over you. What wisdom do children have? So really, it was a very tough, tough period for the and, and a very tough verdict for the children of Israel. But the Lord, in his gracious mercy and goodness, he says in verse 10, that despite all this that is going to happen, go tell the righteous, it will be well with them. New King James Booth says, say to the righteous, don't be silent. Don't let them lose hope with the wicked. No. Tell them. 
it will be well with them. It is well with them. It will be well with them. I have come to tell you the righteous. I will not be silent. I will say it to you, the righteous, that it will be well with you. It doesn't matter how it looks like today. It will be well with you because you are the righteousness of Christ and Christ has paid it all for you. Because in verse B, B the B, the, the last part of that verse says, for they will enjoy the fruit of their deeds. So these other people, there's judgment going on. The, the supply of food and water has been cut. But look what will happen to the righteous. They will enjoy the fruit of their deeds. For us, Jesus has done it all for us. We have to continue basing our trust and our faith in him. And we will enjoy that which he has done for us. That which he did for us 2,000 years ago. We are still reaping from it. I want to encourage you today. The righteous of God. Stand firm. It will be well with you. Do not give up. It will be well with you. It will be well with your children. It will be well with your generation. It will be well with your finances. It will be well with your health. It will be well with anything that is it looks like it's, it's judgment upon judgment. Keep your faith in Christ Jesus. You will eat the fruit. It will be well with you. Do not envy the wicked. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 24.1. Do not envy the wicked. Why? Because the Lord has a proper end to them. It's destruction. They are kept for destruction. So do not look to the wicked and say... You, and say that or feel like that they are prospering or they are making it or they're in good health more than you are. You as a believer, do not. The Bible tells us, do not envy the wicked for their end is destruction. Keep the faith, keep believing because it will be well with you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. For your word that encourages us. Thank you for your word in Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10. That tell the righteous it will be well with them. Say to the righteous it will be well with them. And thank you Lord that you have made us the righteousness of God. Through Christ Jesus. And so we can hold on to this word. Knowing that you watch over your word to perform it. That it will be well with us. So today Lord we decree and declare. That no matter the circumstances that are surrounding us. It will be well with us. It will be well with our, our, our families. It will be well with our finances. It will be well with our children. It will be well in our suburbs. It will be well in our cities and in our nations. Oh God. It will be well Lord. Because you our God are with us. And we will enjoy the fruits of what Christ Jesus did for us. We give you praise, Lord, and we give you honor. May you turn around every situation that is speaking against the wellness of that which you have for us and turn it around for our good. Be glorified and be honored. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a good time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye.